Good evening. In the month of October, four teens in our area took their own lives. Four young men from four different counties decided they couldn't go on. Teen suicide is a real and heartbreaking problem in northeast Indiana and northwest Ohio. And today, one of those teens was laid to rest in Kindleville. This is Jacob's story. I look back and I question. I mean, I've ran it back through my mind so many times. On an unusually warm November day in front of the house that was home to his youngest child. The kids have come by and put things up and have written notes to him. Bob Becker sat down to talk about Jacob. He had his life ahead of him. He just turned 16. But Jacob Becker was troubled at times. Depression, family issues, and... I don't know how often. I do not know how bad it got. But I do know he was being bullied. October 27th, just after 6 o'clock, Bob Becker got a call at work. Family emergency, come home right away. It's a 20-minute drive. And along the way... And I see an EMS coming down the road. And I just had this overwhelming feeling that it wasn't good. It wasn't good at all. Jacob was inside. EMTs working to save his life. Bob had unknowingly passed by his son, who had passed on. When the doctor come out to talk to us, his first words were, I'm so sorry. The words you never, ever want to hear, being a parent. A sophomore who dreamt of one day being a cop who loved Eminem, Ryan Newman, and video games had taken his big brother's handgun into his second story room and decided not to try anymore. He, uh, he had shot himself in the head. <laughs> he left behind a modern day suicide note, an Instagram post. Hey everyone, it said, I know a lot of people are going to end up finding this really selfish, but to be honest, I, I can't, can't live like this anymore. I am tired of everything. I am tired of the way I'm treated. I am tired of everything wrong I keep doing. I feel like this is best for everyone. I'm going to miss a lot of people. I'm sorry, everyone. Goodbye. It's been a great life getting to know you all. Please don't, one friend wrote. Don't do this, pled another. But even here, on his final goodbye, a calloused, cruel response. Later, alligator. And another giving a sarcastic, drawn-out no. Where do you lay the blame for your son's death? It's spread out over such a wide area right this moment. I don't know if it was the bullying that pushed him over the edge. I don't know if it was the depression that pushed him over the edge. I just, I don't know. If only Jacob had known how many cared for him. The day after he died, they lit candles and braved the cold for their friend. On Monday, they filled the gymnasium at East Noble High in the shape of a heart. And then at his funeral, they stood for him, cried for him, and asked, what could they have done for him? The same pain felt beyond Kendallville. In less than a month, four boys in our area, four, have all died by suicide. A 13-year-old in Columbia City on October 2nd, a 17-year-old in LaGrange on October 21st, an 18-year-old in Bryan, Ohio, the next day, the 22nd, and then Jacob. This is preventable. We, as a society, have to open up and and guide our children better. Was well, that what you hope, is that some good will come out of this? It's what any parent would ever hope, is that no more young children die this way. They don't have to. There are still so many questions, and Bob knows he may never truly understand, but he, he says he will always have his memories of his youngest child who will never grow old, the good, and the last. 
And he gave me a semi hug, told me he loved me. I told him I loved him, and uh, tried to have a good day. And uh, I watched him walk down the sidewalk, um, heading to school. And that was uh, the final time I seen my son. An account has been set up in Jacob's name to help with funeral costs and suicide prevention. You can donate at any ProFed Federal Credit Union. And join us tonight at 11 o'clock. We're talking to the experts. We'll give you the tools that you need to break through the barriers that our teens often put up.